So let's take a look at what this is all about. Ally with the waxers and the wickless of the melting remnant. That's cute. That looks like Sal a little bit. I think Sal would like that. Look at that. That's kind of cute. That's kind of like Sal. That's kind of cute. All right. This guy looks dope. Look at this candle. Okay. So what would go well with this? Let's try like melting remnant. He's got fire. So let's do hell horns because that's kind of fiery, right? Scorched plains. Melting and waxy. That seems like it's a good mix. This is a, this guy looks cool. Let's go. All right, let's learn this class. Final boss is gonna be Seraph the Diligent, so he's gonna devour my spells. Which that means is that the first spell I use on each turn gets consumed. And there's ways around that, but let's keep that in mind. Wicklash. Enhance a friendly unit with plus five attack. Apply Burnout too. Now Burnout is an ability that does. Counts down every turn. When burnout runs out, the unit dies. Okay. So you give units buffs and then make them die later on. Interesting. Ritual battle applies six rage at the cost of three. That is way too expensive, sir. Wicked blaze. Reform a unit and enhance with an additional 10 strength. Reform. Return a defeated friendly unit to your hand. Enhance with burnout one. Plus 5 strength, plus 5 health, and 0 energy. Okay, so when your unit dies, you can reform it, and it comes back with more health, and it costs nothing. The, the downside is that it has burnout 1, which means it dies the next turn. So you keep summoning your units back, they get stronger and stronger, but they don't last long, like candles do, I guess. This is kind of cool though, look at the wax dripping. I love the animations on these cards. Well, I can get down with this. Oh, wow. That's cool, man. Sketches is nice. All right. At the start of battle, summon four random units from your deck on the middle floor. Just straight up summon them. Or Vapor Funnel is pretty good, too. When they enter your pyre room, they get dazed. I think Sketches is more better for is better for early game. Like, this is cool as like utility but this is better for like early game this is also kind of deck defining in a way because i can start using my spells earlier if my my units are out earlier then i can burn out earlier and then i could resummon earlier right everything's earlier all right what do we got my champion gets burnout but he's 60 60. whoa and then there's accumulator rector flicker Gets harvest. When a unit dies on this floor, he gets plus 5 HP. Now, is that permanent or just for the battle? I'm assuming it's for the battle. So, you put a lot of guys around him. You kill everything around him. And then he just gets big, beefy, tanky. Now, keep in mind, he's a rectum flicker. Keep in mind... This is going to scale up. So as we get to Accumulator level 3, this is probably going to be a really big tanky dude. And he's probably going to gain a lot of life when you just die around him. So right now he looks like, oh, 10-15. Man, it's nothing. I can imagine this unit becomes insane at level 3. But you know what? Let's burn bright, baby. Let's burn bright. I mean, Harvest is pretty good with uh, Burnout. Absolutely. Enemy units enter with 10 armor. Let's do it. I'm so strong... My unit is 60-60. I'm going to take all the trials. Well, I have all my guys right here. Boom. You know what? Give him rage. Boom. Kill that thing. Yeah, but my unit's gonna come back. My unit's gonna come back, right? Right? I think some of my unit's coming back. If you apply burnout, burnout lasts longer. That's really good to know. That's really good to know.
Where is my wicked my wicked blaze? There it is. Come back. Uh, go top. Oh my god, I don't have space. You're sh shitting me. Okay. Uh, redo. Okay, let's pretend this didn't happen. All right. Good to know. All right, guys, I'm trolling today. Today we're just trolling. It's just a big, big laugh, big troll. Haha, <laughs> big funny guy. I can make him have more burnout. Oh, baby, he lasts longer. Yes. Every sec for the sake of you guys, guys. Look, we're playing the Melchior Ramming for the first time. And I'm trolling on the first battle. So we'll just pretend that never happened. We're so strong, by the way. Let's take all the trials. Dude, look at that damage. Holy shit. This class is nuts. Yeah, the classes are very unique. They all have very unique things going on. Reform a unit. Oh, so we can start bringing our units back with this. Look at this draft. It dies on the turn you play it, the turn after, but it has multi strike 10 times 2. Distinguish. Deal. 35 damage to the front enemy unit So when this dies, so this is a really nice card. It's a little bit of a buffer a one cost buffer It takes a hit for you and then it boom smacks damage That's like these are all very useful. I think we're doing the reform though Because we have all our units summoned on the middle floor right away So since they summon right away, I'm gonna have units to reform much sooner And I'm gonna go ahead and take like a horn break. It's pretty good. Whoa. When this kills something, it gives 20 gold. When a unit dies around this, this gains 5 gold. Wait, this is sick. You know I love my gold. Okay. I feel like I'm going to have trouble getting killing blows. Because my champion is so strong. But I have more potential to gain a lot more gold with this. Let's do that. So when we kill this guy, we get gold. Love it. Yeah, I'm increasing the burnout. I'm doing that intentionally. Get gold and upgrade my spells. What spells would I want to upgrade? I want to upgrade... Molded, maybe. And I want to... I also kind of want to upgrade my thug. Let's upgrade our thug. Let's take a look at what units we can get first. Put this guy on the top. At the end of turn, he just starts getting armor. Why not? And let's upgrade... A unit with endless. Wait, isn't that kind of broken with burnout? So there was a unit that was burnout one, multi strike ten times two. If you give it endless, it comes right back constantly. Huh. But let's not do endless. Let's say we give our guy twenty five HP. Boom. And let's give him some strength as well, so he can slay easier. And now he's a pretty beefy dude. I'll be honest, he's pretty beefy. I want to remove some of these cards, like... The Double Rage has got kind of a troll. I'm going to be honest, Double Rage needs to go. Bye-bye. Or the Exploding Buffer, exactly. You put Endless on the Exploding Buffer, you just have a tank every turn. Non-enemy abuses enter with spikes, no problem. 
And this can break a lot of things. Alright, so we have all our dredges there. Is my, my thug there? My thug is there, so my thug wants to get the kills. Let's put this guy in the top lane so he's scaling up. And then... Let's kill this guy. And let's put this guy in the top as well so he can die. What's up, Samuel? How you doing, Samothy? Nice. So I get to slay with my guy and get some gold. I love it. Let's give this guy more burnout so he doesn't die. Let's kill this. Let's kill that. And let's put this guy at the top because we don't care about him. Sorry, buddy. How long is run on average? Depends how fast you go, but the run is typically lasts an hour. If I'm going fast, probably 40 minutes. Reformer unit. Boom. She gets stronger. Look how big my tanky guy is. He's getting tanky. What's up, Crestio? Uh, the winds. Okay, we don't talk about that. That's a rude question. Um, asking about winds on this channel is a little bit rude. <laughs> Just kidding. No, we haven't got any winds yet, but we will. Don't worry. How was Brooklyn 99? Was it funny? Well, I didn't get any gold with my thug. Like, that's unfortunate. No, 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 I've, no, 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 I've beat, I'm talking about today, I'm talking about today. Descend a unit. Entombed explosive, or draft. I mean, draft's gonna get strong. Draft's gonna get strong, because we can keep bringing him back, and he's gonna get stronger and stronger. The ability to descend is also pretty strong, though. So I could, like, descend my, my thug. So, you know, what happens is my, my units get summoned on the middle floor. But I want my thug to start slaying and getting gold. So if I descend my thug, because he got summoned on the middle floor, I could start killing with him easier. But I think I want to... Ooh, this is a tough choice. Fuck. Let's do this. Let's do descend. Because of the fact that I think it's summoned in the middle. Ooh, now I see the... Now I see the beauty in Inferno. So, if my units are dying anyways, because of burnout, the fact that I do 100 damage to my friendly and enemy units doesn't seem as bad. Because my units are expendable. They come back to life. But, it's 100 damage piercing to enemies. That seems like it might be useful. Sometimes. Let's not make the deck too fat, though. I don't want another Hellhorn unit, but I do want to upgrade my spells. I could upgrade the Steel Worker, I suppose. Hmm. Fine. Let's go get another Hellhorn unit. What's up, Kama? How you doing? Oh shit! Consumer of Crowns, baby. Unfortunately, we can't use these cards. I'm not going an imp deck. And uh, double steel worker is kind of a meme, in my opinion. Let's get the gold. Upgrade a spell to have hold over. So we keep using it and using it. Wait, that's really good. So molded keeps reforming, keeps reforming. Is it better to do it in Wicked Blaze? Because Wicked Blaze is. Uh, gives you d damage. Wicked Blaze is really good. So let's make Wicked Blaze cheaper. And we can keep bringing back units every single turn. That is so good. Nah, I don't want Inferno holdover. Alright, let's do the good old trap shoot. Class. Okay. 
Constructed barrels explode twice. Unfortunate. So I summon my I summon my thug right here. I want that thug to go down. Let's get this guy last a little bit longer. Let's put this guy right here. Beautiful. Even more burnout. I could do this. I could do damage to him. So why not? Boom. This music is a bop. Alright, my thug's gonna kill it, right? No, it's gonna kill itself. Alright, we can bring a unit back. And we play this again next turn. And I want to bring down. I want to bring down my dude. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this guy here. And I'm going to just. Oh, but he attacks last. Fuck, now he attacks last. That's fine, because he still gets to kill. That's good. I noticed that my guy's summoning and getting his armor like right away on turn one because he got summoned on turn one. That's great. We can bring units back. Let's keep doing it non-stop. Non-stop, non-stop. Reform a unit, why not? Bring, come back to me, buddy. Let's go. Get out of my deck. Beautiful, guys. We're getting more gold. Look at this. Loving it, loving it. Dude, holdover is so nice. I can just keep scaling my units back and keep summoning again. And if my if my champion ever dies, I can I could use the uh, wicked blaze on my champion if he ever dies. It's so good. It's so good. Look at it. I'm just making my trains to where it's pop off. All of it's for free. Is there infinite more like STS? I think so. So if my champion dies this turn, I bring it back next turn right up here. Look at this dredge. This dredge is nuts. Want him to last longer. I need space for my champion, so I, I I gotta leave space there. I can make I can make space in my the middle. Middle, I'm getting space, right? Because these guys are dying. All right, and we can put our champion in the middle there. And we're gonna put our champion behind the armor, dude. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this play right here. Ready? We can please my champion. Boom. Bring him back. Do it again. On this dude. Look at this guy. Boom. Look at that damage. Taste wax and flame. Last stand. Double the amount of rage in friendly units. Enhance friendly units with plus 3x uh, strength and apply a burnout. Hmm. Hmm. Or give rage and armor. Do wax and spike. Skippy skip. Card draw or energy? I think card draw is the best, right? Because you want it. Oh, energy helps me play Inferno and Ritual Battle, which I don't really care about. Most of my stuff is free. I think we just want card draw. Energy helps with X cost cards. I think we want card draw. We want to get into our our wicked blaze as soon as possible i think we want card draw yes it is comparable to sts yes it is all right duplicate a card we can duplicate our wicked, wicked blaze so we can keep bringing units back and keep summoning uh buffing them 
I mean, Wicked Blaze is pretty damn good. Or we can go for an artifact and we can get a remnant unit. Let's go remove and let's go get Wicked Blaze number two. If I do remove, I think I want to get rid of Ritual Battle. It doesn't fit in our deck. I also think we don't care about Steward as much. Sorry, buddy. We want to duplicate Wicked Blaze. And then we want to get a little bit of heal, which we don't need. And then let's see what else we get. Mm. Boom, he's getting bigger. Burn Bright number 2. 85-85. This guy's huge. Enemies enter with a spell shield too. I don't care, because my units do damage with their face and their fist. And spell shield doesn't mean a thing to me. So he summons my steel worker right away. Get over there. I want to use Wicked Blaze ASAP, but I, I guess I'll just use it just so I can get it back next turn. Like, I could do Hornbreak on my own unit, technically. Technically, I can do Hornbreak on my own unit. Just so I can, like, Summon it again next turn. Because at the moment, my unit I had nothing that we could blaze on. So this would be a good time to do Inferno, but then I can't play Wicked Blaze, unfortunately. Uh, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to do double Wicked Blaze on nothing. Intentionally. Nah, there's certain spells you can play in the Pirate Chamber, but not, no, there's no units that I can see. And now we can use these cards for real. And now the scaling begins. Keep in mind, I do want my guy to get the Slay, so he's going to get some gold here. My units are just scaling like nobody's business. Track reminds me of Kingdom Hearts 2 tracks. Is the game a little loud? I feel like it's a little loud. Wait, none of my units are dead. Fuck. I can give my own my own thug burnout. But he's about to get slay on this. I'm about to get some gold. My units are not dying. Fuck it, let's do it on my... Oh, it's every unit in the lane! Whoa. Nice nuts. Card's better than I thought. Alright, I got to get another kill. I get more... Look how much gold I'm getting. Jesus. I'm getting rich. We almost won already. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is exactly where I want to be. This guy has burnout four. This guy's gonna stay alive for a long time. And this guy, nothing to bring back. This is perfect. This one kick goal. One kick goes pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Can I get the slay with my guy? I do. I get the slay and get gold. This is exactly where we want to be. Boom! Gold, baby! Endless. Extinguish draw one. When this dies, you draw one. Wait. Why does that feel like it could be like an infinite in some way? Why does Votivari feel like it could be some kind of infinite? Probably can't. Consume, reform two random units. 
deal damage equal to the units you deal damage to enemy units equal to three times the number of friendly units deaths in this battle it's a crazy spell number of friendly unit deaths in this battle i think i like the card draw here move a unit to the front and apply armor return a random consume spell to your hand okay impish scholar can bring back spike wax and spike is impish scholar worth it just for wax and spike or is it like eh Is the last clan, yep. Corona inspired. It's just unfortunate timing. I was germs before Corona came in. I don't know if Impish Scholar is worth it just for Wax and Spike. I mean, sure. We'll have some combo pieces. Look how much gold we have. Alright, so we can get artifact, upgrade our spell units or upgrade our spells and get artifacts. I kinda want an artifact. But I don't really need the pyre health. At least I can get the gold in the cavern. So we're gonna go this way. We won't get the artifact. Hope it's not duplicate because I didn't upgrade my units first. Okay, what do we get here? Get a unit can be plus 30, plus 30, and take up two more space. Or we can make it a unit cost one. Now, Major Refraction could be good on my Thug because since this summons four random units, it might just pull up my Thug and it might be overstacked, but that's okay because my Thug is huge. And we have Descent. So, actually, I can't upgrade my Thug because it's already upgraded, right? Oh, it just adds a third upgrade. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. So far, my Umbro is my favorite class, but this class is looking really fun. Give a unit multi-strike? Whoa. I wish I knew that was a thing. I should have checked that out. Uh, I can give one of my... I can give this guy multi-strike. But he's never gonna die. I should give multi-strike to a guy that has burnout. So that he keeps getting stronger. I mean, I can give this guy burnout, right? But giving him burnout when he has armor, it makes no sense. I mean, Multishake is kind of a waste of money, but that could be useful. Wait, I can give this guy burnout. But it's so counterintuitive with the fact that he wants to gain armor. It's really counterintuitive. Let's give him more health. Yeah, burnout is really bad on a unit. Burnout on imp. Let's get burnout on the imp. Boom. This imp is gonna be six six and it dies next turn. Random artifacts. Let's go. What are the different clans do? I'll show you when we get to the main menu. Alright, let's give this guy a top lane. Oh, look, look at her. Look at her, she's ready to uh, give you some card draw. How cute. I gave it to the MPS, yeah, she's gonna give me card draw now. Alright, I want my thug to get some kills here. Oh, my thug's huge. Wait, I can't even play my thug. I need to remove a lot of things. I need to do Inferno. <laughs> okay. Let's play these dredges. Gorgeous. Wanna reroll? I'm gonna save some gold for like a trinket shop or something like that. Our artifacts are pretty strong. Alright, we can bring units back now. So I'm gonna bring back my multi strike guy. Look at this. Look at this guy. You ready? Take a look at this guy. Boom! 24 times 2, just like that. You know what? Give him Wax and Spike. Actually, I want to play these. These cards are really good. Since, since I can play Wax and Spike twice, I might as well, like... I 
I might as well take advantage of it and just play it. Like, oh, I don't have energy. <laughs> Yeah, the artifacts in this game are quite strong. Alright, let's bring back this guy. Boom, right in the back. Do it again. You go to the top lane, buddy. There's just, there's home for you yet. Let's do it. Torch the guy in the back. My guy on the top is scaling getting armor, and if my guys ever die, I can put him to the top lane behind the little tanky dude. And which is gonna happen right now, you ready? You can tank a little bit, save my guy's armor. And then you know what? You can come and do damage. Because you're just that cool. And then I was gonna do impish scholar on the thing, but I guess I passed my change of mind. Twitch Prime TF was a scam? Why? Now the reason why this guy stayed alive guys is because I have them, they get to full life when they go up floors. That's the only reason why that happens. Oh, we don't do any damage? Oh, because she has stealth. My guy is so big. I need to remove. I need to remove things that are not the thug because I need my thug to be played early on with Sketch of Salvation. Otherwise, I uh, yeah. If I do dazed, I can take away two of her stuff. Oh wait, no, she's only stuff on the bottom floor, right? This is awkward. This is really awkward, my friends. I'm gonna take power damage because this guy's not dying. And he's gonna go to the top with full life only because I gave them the, the trial, they get full life. Otherwise, I wouldn't be taking power damage this run. She still has stealth. So we need to do this. Come back to me, sir. Okay, you ready now? It begins. We did it, GG. Whew. Only problem is we didn't get any gold from our guy. This double holdover reform thing is nuts. Jack strips. Oh, jack strips are so good, guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. You deal two damage to whenever an enemy unit moves between floors. So there's a lot of units that just die for free because of that. Apply stealth to friendly units. Wait, I could take what she did to me and do it right back. Oh shit, that sounds kind of good. That's like kind of dazed in some way, right? I'll take one engulfed in smoke. That sounds nice. I've never used that before. Apply rage, apply armor and rage and sacrifice. Let's skip. Applying self sounds pretty nuts. Alright, it's a trick shot. We got a lot of gold. I also want to upgrade some of my units. There's also another cavern, but I do want to remove. So I want to remove some units that are not my dude because of my relic that summons them in their first turn. So let's do that. Let's get rid of this. And let's see some trinkets. When a card is consumed, restore five power health. Gain five gold when a friendly unit dies. We're just making money left and right. Cards with consumed have a 50% chance to be discarded instead. Now I'll be honest, from a list of artifacts, these are probably some of the worst. 
because I've got one consume card in my deck and two of these relics interactive consume. Now, how many units have to die for me to break even with this thing? A shit ton of units have to die for me to break even here. Trap shoot can be useful, I suppose, with refracting lenses or like with wing clippings. I'll, I'll buy wing clippings, but then uh, everything else is just like I can reroll. I can also just like see when the next trinket shop is. The trinket shop right before the end. I'm just gonna save my gold. Okay, I'll reroll once. Whoa. Whoa, this is what I'm talking about. Okay. So wait, does this work on my scaling dude? The guy that gets resolved? Does, this, does he get even more armor now? Cool. You just get an extra upgrade slot. Uh, what would I want to apply that with? Am I really upgrading my units that much? Not that much. My thug becomes huge, I suppose. That's okay. So getting more stacks of burnout, how good is that really? Because don't I want my units to die? Like getting more burnout means they're not going to die as often. And then I'm going to be able to use wicked, wicked less often. It, but how good is it really? Because if I do, if they get more burnout, they don't die. And then therefore I can't play wicked um, blaze. Reform applies burnout. So when I play reform, I'm applying burnout, which is going to be plus four burnout. So this actually like, seems like it's actively bad. This is good for when you want to keep units alive longer, but I don't actually want to do that. I want to keep making my units die. Now, do I want units to get an, upgrade, an extra upgrade slot? Not really. Let's do a real hammer and leave. Actually, I want to remove one more card. I want to try to increase the chances that my thug gets summoned for free. Apply versus enhance. Apply versus enhance. Okay. You think it makes a difference? I think when you're enhancing, you're applying burnout. I think it's the same thing. Oh, my thug's right there. Look at him. Look at my big thug. So look. Normally, this wouldn't work. But in this world, it does. Only problem is my thug's in the front, so he doesn't get the killing blow. So what I gotta do is give him wax and spike. He still doesn't get it. Damn. The selfies can keep applying stealth. That's cool. Give this guy stealth. Now the giveaways for everybody, but it's, I think it's gonna be weighted towards subs. We could blaze, we could blaze. Take pyro damage, do I need to? So this has a chance to come back because of my wing clipping, so. Uh, let's do that. I don't wanna take pyro damage. I'm getting gold. Farming gold here. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Chill with the ultimate penance and stuff. Jeez. This guy's getting plus 9 armor return. I love it. I love it. I love it. I need to play Wicked Blazes though. Ugh. I'm not gonna shut my thug down because I don't have the energy. I need energy. I actually need energy now.
My thug is farming gold, baby. I love it. My thug is a big boy. With a big bat. I didn't get to play Wicked Blaze, unfortunately. I need to draw back into my Wicked Blazes. Luckily, I draw six cards a turn. Oh, we got one. This guy's getting big. Look at him. Look at that damage. Wow. Let's bring this to get more card draw. I get some more gold. Look at it. Look at how much gold I'm getting. I love it. I love it. My guy's about to burn out. My champion. Gotta prevent that. Damn, she keeps. Look at all these things. Yikes. I'm taking pyre damage. I mean, I, I can't. I guess. I guess this fight's not that hard. So I don't need to like, I don't need to take so much power damage because the fight's not hard. If I was trying to min-max, I would try to like do, I would take the damage to the face, but I don't need to take all that power damage because I don't think the fight's going to be that hard. But watch me be wrong because I'm about to get my ass kicked, right? If I do this, I can give her dazed. So I can do some damage to her. That's pretty good damage. And then I bring that guy back anyways on the following turn and she's dead. Wing clippings is pretty nice. Alright, let's bring back my champion on the top lane. Let's give these guys plus six strength. Could do it on the top lane as well. My address with the multi strike is one of my best units, actually. Watch, I put him in the back. I can do the thug, but I can't play the thug, unfortunately. And I give my guy stealth, and look at this. I don't even take damage. Stealth is broken. Stealth is disgustingly broken. That lowered their damage? Why? Apply Rage and Armor. Stealth is really good. Stealth means they, they can't, they're not in combat, so they can't be targeted until this, it runs out. So they just get free damage. Oh, because I gave Burnout, I gave Burnout to my guy in the back. He had armor, yeah. I swear that's what's wrong. Harvest. When a unit dies on this floor, it gains one soul. Extinguish. Deal damage to the enemy units equal to five, 15 times the soul count. So if you put this in a lane where there's a lot, a lot of units dying, when it dies, it does 15 times the amount of units that died. This seems like it's not worth it. None of this is worth it. Let's get, let's get energy now. We actually need it. Alright. So we get an artifact, we can upgrade our spells and get some pyre health, or we can remove more cards and duplicate a card. Now remember, she's going to get rid of my spells, so I need to make sure that... See, my combo of what I'm doing, which is the Wicked Blaze every single turn, is not going to work against her because she gives my spells consume. So I need to find a way to play spells that are not Wicked Blaze. So I need spells I, I don't care about, like torches, to just give her. Otherwise... I will lose my card, so I'm actually not going to remove anything at this point. Or I can remove another. I can duplicate Wicked Blaze again and have extra ones to give away. Some of these artifacts are actually not that good. And upgrading spells when my spells are probably going to get taken away from me also doesn't feel that great. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, would you do the Fandango, Thunderbolts, and Lightning? Very, very frightening. Yo, Dragus, thanks for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate it, man. Welcome back. Add some, you should upgrade my spe my stealth. Yeah, stealth would be good to upgrade, but keep in mind, she does consume my spells, so I need to find a way around that. Also, wait, wing clippings. Charged cards of consume have a 50% chance to be discarded instead. So since I have Strange Spoon, I kind of sometimes counteract the boss. 
So wing clip is actually my way of counteracting the bus. That's pretty cool. If I were to duplicate a card, what would it be, guys? If you had an umber guy run, would more get you and give that guy souls? Probably. 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 In front of the dead card? Well, I can use that to get ready to get consumed on the bus. If I were to duplicate, what would I duplicate though? Stealth? No. Duplicate wax and spike so I have more spells? Mm. Duplicate the thug? I'm going for the artifact. At the start of your turn, add a random imp unit to your hand. 50% chance to remove all buff effects on an enemy unit when it enters your train. What buff effects do, 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 do they have? Not that many, right? Do I want a random imp unit? Not really. I don't have space for all that stuff. I'll take cleansing water then. I get that out of the pool, right? So now when I go to the merchant shop, it's a little bit better. Give a spell double stack. So a four stuff to friendly units? Holy <laughs> shit. There's no point in giving it something consumed when I already have consume at the boss. Um, if anything I can make I can make dripfall cheaper. Or engulf in smoke I can make cheaper as well. Let's go heal. And let's go upgrade my champion. Last one, alright? Vern Bright 3. He is 150, 150. Rector Flicker is flicking hard. Ooh, let's go ahead and get 400 coins. Thank you very much. This guy's big. Where's my thug? Please summon my thug. There he is. He's never going to get the bonus, though. I'll put him in the top lane. That guy's dead. Oh, I get I get money off that. Nice. Start the burnout stuff early. Love it. I can bring down my uh, my thug. If I want to. They summon Impish Scholar early. Ooh. I can bring that back with my unit, so I can actually bring back Impish Scholar, that's fine. I'm gonna bring Drip Frawl on this guy. Ah, oh, but that guy's gonna stay alive. It's problematic. Who would I Drip Fall here? Drip Fall on this girl. Just to get a little bit more damage. The fairy's gonna be dead anyways in combat. Alright, so I need this girl to die, so let's do this. And actually, Impish Scholar getting summoned early is quite good for me because I can use it earlier. Boom. I'm gonna play this guy right here. My summons, my, I didn't get to play the second Wicked Blaze, unfortunately. I need more. I didn't get to play Engulf in the Smoke either. Damn. I'm not going to make any judgments on the balance of the game until I reach Ascension 25. Because I play Slay the Spire on Ascension 20. And I have a lot of Slay the Spire experience. So I'm not going to make any... I'm not going to say anything about how strong or hard the game is. Until I'm at the highest level. That's where I, that's where I want to be playing anyways. So my answer is... I don't know yet. I think this guy lived longer. I love Jack Strips so much.
Boom. Oh, he doesn't get the sleigh though. If I put him in the back, he got the sleigh. Whoopsies. I can apply so much stealth to my units though. Look at this. Look at this. I can bring back Impa Scholar and I can keep bringing back Consume Spells. This is actually really good. So I bring back Wax and Spike, right? Let's give these guys uh, stealth. Because why not? But what I could do is Wax and Spike again. And then when, when she dies, I can do Wax and Spike again. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do Wax and Spike one more time. And forget about four stealth. Boom. If I, put the if I put the thug in the back, I would have got extra gold, so that I just missed out some gold. Damn, look how much I'm just killing these dudes. Boom. Let's go switch it right here back up top. Just like this, because I'm gonna need it next turn. I can just send my guy now. I can put my armor guy in the back, and that just be my kill lane. So I could just send my dude. I could send my thug as well. My thug's about to die, though. Let's just chill. I can put them in the front. Yeah, I could. Wait, am I supposed to do Inferno here? No, right? I could do Daze on this guy. On the boss. Thug up top. That should be this would be a really good turn to get stealth. If I had stealth here, this would have been like free. This would have been quite free. It's getting quite strong because of the revenge though. It's getting quite strong. Let's put my boss in the back. Boom. Lethal. Check this out. Put this right here. Because why not? Got him. Hashtag loyalty. Yo, welcome back, Snaven. The five months. Alright, let's go ahead and add. I think we got like two extra subs today. We're almost at a daily goal of five, guys. Almost got daily gold. A little much gold we just got. Wow, wow, wow. Applies to self to units. I can do another one. I don't mind. That's a really good effect. Gain one energy for each friendly unit. For each friendly unit death this battle. Wow, this is a great way to get energy. And if I get energy, I can then apply that energy into a much bigger wax and spike. Or I can just do more engulf and smoke. I'm not sure what's better. Gain energy. Let's do gain energy. Let's do it. It's a one of. This when you summon this, you gain energy, and then you can use that for X plus cards. But that's like kind of inconsistent. Stuff is pretty strong. Yeah, it is. All right, we have a trinket shop here, and we have gold, and we can also duplicate or upgrade a spell. I'll say no more. Let's duplicate our our our, our engulfed in smoke. This is just a nuts card. I should have uh, <laughs> thought about upgrading first before I did that. So for the sake of feeling like a, a donkey, I'm gonna do this. All right, let's go see the let's go see the trinkets. Friendly units enter with rage. That's good. I could have done merging cost. Why not? A units cost less. That doesn't help me that much. Let's reroll. Friendly units get more health. Let's get magic power. And turn your chance to deal five damage when an enemy enters the train. Absolutely. And we're good. All right, guys. We're going for the first win, aka first giveaway. Can we do it? Let's find out. Seraph the Diligent. <clears throat> first card each turn gets, gets consumed. Did I get my thug on the tur first turn? Let me see. My thug got summoned. Beautiful. Alright, play Rector Flicker. Play some of these dredges. Play more dredges. 
and give them all burnout and damage. It's exactly what I want to see. Get them nice and healthy. I also do some damage to the boss right now. There's Seraph the Chaste, Seraph the Temperate, Seraph the Diligent. That's the, that's those are the three I know off the top of my head. Those are the three I know off the top of my head. Let's get Wax and Spike again. Ah, my power taking damage. How dare they? Alright, my first spell gets consumed, so let's give, put it on something we don't care about. Like, I don't care about Whiplash that much. I got preserved because of the wing clippings. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. Let's just send down this. So now I get to do some damage to the boss. Yeah, I have an infant bring back consume cards exactly. It's kind of a counter to the boss. Yep. First spell that I'm gonna play gets so I don't really care about molded. So I'm gonna just play it. Alright, it's down, it's consumed. Just do stealth. Let's play these. I kind of want to play my Wicked Blazers though, because they're pretty important. We could do Inferno here, kill all these things. I don't really want to. Okay. Gain one energy for each friendly that this battle, so I can do that. That's not gonna last. I mean, I can just use that just to like. So anything that has consume in the f effect, I can play it just to buy time. So I'll do this. Let's play it. now. That guy's getting stronger. Let's give him some strength. I could do memories and just kill this right here. Do some damage to the boss. My guys have seven stealth now. Six stealth. It means whatever I summon gets hit first, because since these guys are not in combat, whoever I summon is gonna take all the brunt. But look at that. more stealth. It's crazy. Let's get torched. We don't really care if this gets out of the way. More wicked blazes. Impish Scholar, let's do it. Put this guy in the front. Let, let the Impish Scholar die, because we just want his effect. So we don't care if he dies. And we kind of counter the boss with that, to be honest. More stuff, more stealth. If I put stealth, then my Impish is not going to die. So I don't want to do stealth, but I want to add stealth, because I want to keep stacking it on my bot, on my, my hero. So the only reason I'll do stealth is to stack it on the hero, because I don't really care if... I kind of want her to die. So I'll do this. It's because my hero's gonna be. Ooh, that was five damage. Oopsies. Uh, one problem is that the guy in the top is taking a lot. Stay lived for a long time. So I'm gonna just send him down. So I don't care if this got preserved. Nice. I'm gonna just send this guy down. Wicked Blaze. Fish Scalder. I get Wax and Spike again, that's really nice. Dude, I'm taking a lot of power damage, holy shit. A ninth stealth. I gotta get rid of these, these things, or otherwise they're gonna just inundate my deck. If I do stealth again... My guy's didn't die to burnout though. Fuck. Oh wait, that's bad. 
It's really bad. You guys are dying to burn out. Wait, fuck. If I do Inferno, I can play Wicked Blaze. On my boss. I do a lot of damage there. Alright. Two wicked plays again on my boss. GG. Boom. All right, we did it. See what we unlock. That's a cool deck. I like that deck. It's a cool class. Thugs and candles. It's an interesting mix.